Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As we all know, due to changes in the external environment, chip foundries such as TSMC and Samsung are currently unable to ship freely to China. At the same time, the export of high-end semiconductor equipment is also severely restricted. Overseas semiconductor equipment manufacturers, such as ASML of the Netherlands and Tokyo Electronics of Japan, have successively stated that due to the export control measures of the United States, some advanced equipment can no longer be shipped to Chinese companies normally. Against this background, the development of China's semiconductor industry chain has been forced to embark on a self-sufficient development path. As for when China's semiconductor equipment can be replaced by localization, Yin Jiao, CEO of AMEC, recently made a public statement that the situation that ASML of the Netherlands does not want to see has appeared. It is understood that AMEC is a leading semiconductor equipment manufacturer in China, focusing on the research and development and production of etching equipment and MOCVD equipment. The company was founded in 2004 and is headquartered in Shanghai. Its products are widely used in the fields of integrated circuit and lead manufacturing. AMEC takes independent innovation as its core, and its technology has reached the international advanced level. Its customers include TSMC, SMIC, and other world-renowned chip manufacturers, and it is an important promoter of the localization of China's semiconductor equipment. On May 27, at the 2024 and 2025 first quarter performance briefing held by AMEC, General Manager Yin Jiao explained the localization of chip equipment. According to Yin Jiao, AMEC can currently cover 30% of integrated circuit equipment. In the next 5 to 10 years, AMEC will work with its partners to cover 60% of high-end integrated circuit equipment, including all equipment for film, thin film and quantity detection, as well as some wet process equipment, and become a platform-based group company. This means that in the next 5 to 10 years, about 60% of high-end equipment in this field will be replaced by localization. What made Asmal of the Netherlands feel cold behind was Yin Jiao's statement in an interview with the media after the meeting. The other party said, if the lithography machine cannot be solved quickly, our main business of etching thin films can combine multiple exposure technology to make the process smaller, which is also our responsibility. The implication is that there is not only one technical route for lithography machines that can solve the problem of advanced processes being controlled by others. In the case that the lithography machine solution has not successfully broken through, SMIC will also use multiple exposure technology to make the chip manufacturing process as small as possible. This means that ASML of the Netherlands will face more alternative solutions in the domestic market. Not only must we strictly guard the field of lithography machines, but many peers in the field of semiconductor equipment will also help the successful breakthrough of the domestic semiconductor field through their own innovative solutions. In this way, the situation that ASML of the Netherlands does not want to see has emerged. First, due to the chip control of the United States, ASML of the Netherlands cannot complete the shipment to Chinese companies. This is equivalent to ASML of the Netherlands still having some demand for the Chinese market, but unable to sell its own products to Chinese companies. At that time, facing the localization substitution of Chinese manufacturers, 
ASML of the Netherlands will not only lose its domestic market share, but also face competition from new competitors. Secondly, ASML will face greater competitive pressure. Not only the traditional lithography equipment manufacturer, Yin Jiyo of SMIC, has proved that the atmosphere of concerted efforts of the entire domestic industrial chain is already very strong. When the localization of semiconductor equipment is no longer a problem for a company, but a problem for the entire country and even the entire nation, this problem is destined to be properly solved. When China uses the whole country's strength to solve the problem of advanced chips being controlled by others, ASML's lithography machine alone cannot stop China's semiconductor technology breakthrough. Finally, the news that Kirin chips have adopted 5 nanometer technology has been revealed, which also means that the domestic related industrial chain has achieved a technological breakthrough. Before this, the 5 nanometer process was considered to be a product that could only be put into production through EUV lithography machines. This also marks that Chinese companies have taken a new technical route in the face of external pressure. The successful opening of this technical route not only means that Chinese manufacturers have bypassed Western trade controls, but also indicates that the Chinese industrial chain has the ability to produce 5 nanometer chip products. Chips of 5 nanometers and above account for more than 90% of the market's chip foundry demand. As long as the production capacity is sufficient, the long-term monopoly of foreign companies such as ASML in the Chinese market can be completely broken. This is exactly the situation that ASML of the Netherlands is most reluctant to see. Sales have declined due to US controls. The Chinese market is facing the replacement of Chinese local companies. The statement made by Yin Jiao of AMEC has broken the traditional industrial chain cooperation model in the West. It is only a matter of time before the relevant technologies break through. China's semiconductor industry chain is accelerating the substitution of localization. Yin Jiao, CEO of AMEC, revealed that 60% of high-end equipment will be localized in the next 5 to 10 years, and the innovative use of multiple exposure technology will break through the limitations of lithography machines. The successful production of the 5 nanometer Kirin chip indicates that China has opened up a new technology route, and breaking the Western monopoly is just around the corner. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message and discuss.